Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make pistachio fudge. It's an easy six ingredient recipe. It's got that beautiful green color to it and also we're going to pair those salty roasted crunchy pistachios with a rich and creamy fudge. Yeah, got your mouth watering? Let's go ahead and put this one together. First thing we're going to do is prepare an 8 by 8 baking dish. We want to have that ready. What I'm going to do is lightly spray the bottom and the sides of the dish. So I just have a sheet of parchment paper. You want it to be bigger than your dish. I'm just going to place my baking dish right on top of the parchment in the center. Just get some kitchen shears and you want to cut the corners off. Remove the baking dish. I'm just going to go ahead and create folds. So just crease, push all the sides up, and bring my baking dish back over. We're going to place the parchment into the bottom of the pan, pull the sides up, and then allow it to stick to that cooking spray. Then I'm just going to crease it over the edges. This will help us pull out the fudge. All right, we're going to set this aside. The next step is we want to melt our chips in a medium bowl. I'm using some baking classic white chips. They look like chocolate chips, but they're white. Now I'm just using a Ghirardelli, but you can use any brand that you want. And you can find these right next to the chocolate chips in your baking aisle of your store. So I've got a medium bowl and it's one that you can put into your microwave. So make sure that it is safe to go in your microwave three quarters cup of the white baking chips, one third cup of water, six tablespoons of butter. We're going to place this in the microwave for one minute. We're going to remove it. We're going to stir it until all of the chips have melted. If you need to put it back in the microwave, you can put it in for about 10 seconds and then give it a stir. You don't want to overcook this. Now make sure that the butter is melted also. All right, nice and smooth. Set this off to the side for a second. We're going to put in one 3.4 ounce size box of pistachio instant pudding dry mix into the melted butter and chips and stir that in. Here's where our color's coming. With this color here, it'll be perfect for like St. Patrick's Day, Easter, holidays. All right, we're gonna mix this all together. until well combined. I told you it was going to be a beautiful color, didn't I? Look at that. You can tell there's little bits of pistachios in there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but just very little pieces. Next step is we're going to add powdered sugar. Three cups. <laughs> So I'm putting it in half a cup at a time. Now keep up with that amount if you don't want to lose track. All right, so that's one cup. I'm going to stir it in and then put in the second cup and then put in the third cup and get it all mixed up. I like to use the spatula because you can push down on the powdered sugar that's going into your pudding mixture here. Oh, it smells delicious. And if you want, you could use a little sieve to put your powdered sugar in. And then that way you can sift it. This way could take a little bit of time. Either way works. I like it this way. Because you can just mash it. You're going to mash it anyway, so just keep pressing. Now just go slow with it so you don't want powdered sugar going everywhere. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, now that we got that creamy fudge consistency going on right here, we're gonna add in half a cup of the roasted salted pistachios. You wanna make sure there's no shells on these. Now what we're gonna do is fold in the pistachios into the fudge mixture. Let's bring our baking dish back over. And I'm gonna put the fudge mixture inside. Now you want to flatten it out so it's nice and even and a solid form. Now if you want to put more nuts on, you can. You can just sprinkle some on and then press them in. I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for at least two hours to set up. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I'm gonna pull out the fudge out of the baking dish. Oh, it's solid. I'm gonna put it on a cutting board. I'm gonna pull down the sides. I'm gonna take a really long, sharp knife and I'm gonna cut the fudge. All right, look at that. Solid. Let's go. Look at this one right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's the top. That's the bottom. You want me to give this a try? All right. Here goes my bite. Mm-mm. We got smooth, crunchy from the nuts. Mm -hmm. And I love that flavor from the pudding. That is delicious. Pistachio all the way around. It holds its shape very well. This was an eight by eight. If you wanna do like a nine by 13, then you can double the recipe. Mm. Y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think of my pistachio fudge. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see y'all on my next episode. Mm.